Hi, so welcome to lesson number 14, module 7 of the Big Data and Hadoop Developer course. So in this particular lesson, we will be having a look at the Hive data model. So before we proceed with the lesson, let's have a quick recap of the previous lessons. So in the previous lesson, we have learned about the struct complex data type which is used in Hive. In this lesson, we'll be having a look at the Hive data model and buckets and partitions. So inside the Hive uh, query engine, we have different data models. For example, the top level of the data model is a database. Now a database in Hive is just a namespace when we're in every table resides. So whenever you start working with Hive, the first task you do is to create a database and then use the database. Once you say use the database, whatever tables you create are going to be inside the database. So technically speaking, the database is just the uh, top level hierarchy. In the hierarchy, it is the top level namespace that is called as a database. Now inside the database we can have something called a table. Now a table usually is a schema in a namespace. So the table just tells us what kind of a data we are expecting and what kind of a data we are storing in a structured format. So when you create a table, you must always mention the schema that is part of the table and the tables always get stored inside the database. Then you have something called partitions and buckets which we will be see in detail in the coming slides. So let's have a look at something called partition now. Now what exactly is a partition? Imagine that you have a very large hive table with millions of entries in it. Now, as the, as the month or year goes by, this table will further get bigger. So, when you execute queries on this particular table, that queries will be really slow because of the size of the table. So, Hive allows a concept called partitions wherein you can divide this table into smaller size of tables with a common key. So, partitions means dividing a table into a coarse grain part on the value of some partition columns. So usually how the partitions are created is based on the column. So every table will have a structure that is built in which defines different column and you can definitely take some of the some column from the entire table and create a partition. Now this makes the queries faster as the query will now execute on a slice of data rather than the entire data. Each unique value of the partition column determines the partition of the table. So to give you an idea, let's say that you are getting data from a retail store every month. So that means in January you will be having a lot of data, in February you will be having a lot of data and as the now months go by, the data will become increased. So what you can do is that probably you can create partitions based on the column of column called month so that it can be divided into different partitions such as Jan partition, Feb partition, March partition, etc. So when you want to execute a query which has to return the data from a particular month, you can just mention the partition name such as month equal to March and it will only execute in this particular slice of the table. So here we can see that the partition is having three uh, properties as a part of this slide. So partition keys determine how the data is stored. So when you are creating partition table, it is very important to understand that these tables heavily depends on what key you are using for partition. For example, when you partition a table based on the month and then you try to query the entire data based on another column such as country, it doesn't make any effect. In fact, it even makes your query slower because your data is being partitioned by month and now you are querying based on country. 
so the partition key is the most important concept here each unique value of the partition key is define a partition of the table so when you have 12 values you will get 12 partitions and partitions are named after dates for convenience so another interesting concept is called bucketing now imagine that you are getting a huge amount of transaction data from an e-commerce website where you want to divide them based on the transaction ID now in this case you will be aware that every transaction has a unique transaction ID now if I have to use partitions here every single entry will be falling into a separate partition meaning if I have 1 million transactions based on the transaction ID I have to create 1 million partitions which is of course not a very effective method so in such cases bucketing can be very useful so bucketing is another concept where you can divide a big table into smaller buckets so buckets are basically slices just like partitions however here you will be dividing the table into smaller sizes based on some other condition so bucketing gives the extra structure to the table which results in even more efficient queries concept of practice implementation analogous to Hadoop partitions such as hash model of partitions by the number of buckets are defined so what you can do in the case of the e-commerce transaction data is that you can probably calculate the modulo value of every transaction ID and we know that the transaction IDs will fall between 1 to 10 or to be precise 0 to 9 so if you calculate the modulo 10 of the transaction ID you will be ending up with a value between 0 and 9 thus you can send the transactions which has transaction ID 3 modulo of 3 to a particular bucket called 3 so we'll be explaining this with an example in the coming slides So buckets give extra structure to the data and a join of two tables that are bucketed on the same column including the join column can be implemented as a map side join and bucketing by user ID means we can quickly evaluate user based query by running it on a randomized sample of the total set of users. To wrap up in this particular lesson we have learned about the Hive data model buckets and partitions and that's all for this lesson if you have any questions please do not hesitate to raise a support ticket thank you